I've spent nearly two months exploring all of Thailand, from the north, south, east, west, Bangkok, Phuket, Koh Phi Phi, Chiang Mai, Koh Samui, Koh Tao, Koh Phangan, you name it, I've been there. And in the process, I have learned a huge amount that I wish I knew before traveling there. And that is what this video is gonna be all about. I'm gonna be sharing with you four top tips, four things that I really wish I knew before traveling there. So hopefully before you go, you're fully equipped to have the best possible time ever. So stick around for this one because today I'm gonna be sharing with you four of the top things that I wish I knew before traveling to Thailand. First of all, do not be afraid to travel to Thailand during monsoon season. Now, I have had countless people tell me, always before I book my trips, do not travel between June, July, August, September, because your trip will be ruined. It will be raining all the time. It will be like traveling in a constant shower. I cannot lie, that was an absolute exaggeration. Now, everyone will tell you, you know, travel there between the months of November to April, because those are the peak months. Those are the best times where you're gonna get the best weather. But you also run the risk of having crazy crowds, really expensive hotels, and everything just being a lot more hectic than it needs to be. And that's why I've always actually found it preferable to go during the off season, which is during the monsoon months. Now, also, I highly recommend recommend it for digital nomads because you're going to be able to experience Thailand for a long extended period for a reasonable cost and without all the distractions of all the tourists being everywhere all the time. Now, is it going to rain? Yeah, it probably will. It'll probably rain a little bit more than it would in peak season, but in all honesty, out of the two times I went, which was over a four or five week period, it actually only rained three to four days across the whole time. And honestly, when it does rain in Thailand, it only actually rains for about an hour and it's like a little downpour or maybe a big downpour or maybe like a rainstorm. Actually, yeah, it's more like the latter. But that's fine because quite honestly, the weather in Thailand can be so hot, so humid. What are you doing? I need a minute with the fan. I'm dripping. You came for this. I'm dripping. And actually, it's a nice little bit of respite from the crazy temperatures to just sit back, find a restaurant, have a coffee, have a Thai tea, which is amazing, by the way, if you're in Thailand, drink Thai tea, unreal. Just sit there, watch the rain pour down, have a bit of respite, and then go explore. Great, what more could you ask for? But honestly, I actually think a lot of the benefits actually outweigh the cons of traveling during monsoon season, because first of all, everything's gonna be a lot, lot quieter. You're gonna see places in a much quieter way. And also prices are gonna be far, far cheaper as well, from hotels to experiences, to tours, to various things in Thailand. Prices are adjusted based on how busy it is and the time of the season. So yeah, that is tip number one. Do not be afraid to travel there during monsoon season, just like I did. <music> tip number two, guys, Thailand is an amazing place for digital nomads. I touched upon it in tip number one, but here's why. Now, during my time in Thailand, I had the pleasure of meeting many people who chose to spend their winter months there, working on their laptops while soaking in the vibrant atmosphere that Thailand has. Many people find it invigorating to switch up their environment, seeking inspiration while enjoying the affordable luxuries that Thailand has to offer. Because Thailand has a diverse array of landscapes to explore, from the majestic mountains of the north to the stunning beaches of the south. And for those seeking an exciting nightlife scene, Bangkok is the ultimate destination. Here you can put in the hours during the day and then let loose in the evenings. Plus, the cost of living is remarkably reasonable, adding to the appeal of this amazing country. But now, for the game changer. Introducing the Thailand Privilege Card. Imagine this, VIP treatment from the get-go, extended visas from five to 20 years, and exclusive perks that money can't buy. From the moment the plane lands, there's an elite personal assistant that can escort you with an electro car to the fast track service, ensuring a hassle-free entry to Thailand private guides that can enhance your exploration, and the cherry on top, a limousine ride to your accommodation. There's also a shopping assistant to support you at the major mall, discounts on luxurious goods, and a VIP lounge on the way back to the airport. There's also an elite personal liaison to assist members arrange appointments and manage important matters, including a 90-day reporting to immigration, opening a bank account in Thailand, and even helping you apply for a driving license. 
crazy. So head over to Thailand Privilege and pick a plan that suits you. The link's gonna be in the video description, but trust me, it is the best way to unlocking the best that Thailand has to offer. Next, number three. The hotels in Thailand are absolutely amazing and really not expensive at all. Now, one of the perks of traveling to Thailand is you can live like royalty, but on a budget and at a really reasonable price. And I know that so many people that think about Thailand and plan a trip to Thailand, they always just automatically think, oh, I've got to stay in a hostel. But you really don't have to because even five-star hotels, right, in Bangkok, we're as cheap as 50 pounds a night, and that is crazy. Like, yeah, hostels can offer a great experience, you, can, you know, you can meet people, but personally for me, I love the fact that I've got that my own space, I've got that cleanliness, I've got a fresh room to come to, and I just like the experience that you get at a hotel, and Thailand has such a diverse array of different kinds of hotel that they offer, and they are fantastic. I really, really love the experience that I had when staying at them. Now, even in monsoon season, a lot of these deals are still available, such as the Kimpton Mai Lai in Bangkok, which is an amazing place, and it was actually ranked within the top three travelers' choices in the whole of Thailand on TripAdvisor. But if you're looking for something for more of an extended period, you can stay at the Centerpoint Serviced Apartments, which is also one that I can highly recommend, as they're also considered to be one of Thailand's top hospitality chains of hotels. Tip number four, transportation is amazing in Thailand. Now I know a lot of you guys will be thinking before you travel, like this is such a step out of my comfort zone, like how do I get around, it's the other side of the world, how am I gonna get to A to B, and like are there flights, are there trains, are there buses, taxis, all of these questions and I need some answers. Well, I'm gonna answer that for you right now. Thailand is so well connected, so easy to get around, and there are so many options to do so, right? There are so many flights that go in and out of Bangkok every day, I didn't even think it was possible. I remember when I was looking for flights from Bangkok to Krabi, like three days before, because I just decided, you know what, I fancy going to Krabi. There was like 15 different flights over the course of that day that I could choose from. There were flights going in and out like every 30, 40 minutes. So there were so many options and so many seats available. But also, if you're a member of the Thailand Privilege Card, remember, you can also get a limousine service that picks you up from the airport to your hotel. So that's another perk right there. In terms of getting around Thailand, I would highly recommend, first of all, scooters. Scooters are a fantastic option. You can pick them up from various places in and around Thailand. All you need is your driving license and it's literally only a few hundred baht, which is great because you can get a full day's use of a scooter exploring the beauty that Thailand has to offer. That's the first thing. And second thing I would suggest is taking your phone and downloading the Grab app. Grab is the most fantastic way of getting around the city, the place, everywhere. And it's not just a cab service, it's also like a Grab delivery service. So you can get food on there. It's basically Uber, but for that side of the world. But yeah, Grab is amazing. It is super reliable. The drivers have all been fantastic from my experience, like really professional. It runs in the same way that all the ride sharing apps in the Western world work, but it is just the one that they use out there. Grab, download it on your phone and you will have no problems at all when it comes to getting around in Thailand. And there you guys have it. Those are my top four tips of what you guys need to know before traveling to Thailand.